Hello everybody! Today's video is Posey's five month update. She's five months old guys. How has this happened? Five months old. It is blown by even though I feel like she's been here forever. Huh. Forever. <laughs> she just fits so good into our family. Alright so this video will talk about her eating, her sleeping, her playing, her milestones, and all that jazz. So let's get right into it. So we'll talk about her eating first. Her eating is still mainly bottles. Um, she does about six ounces now. Most of the time, sometimes it's less. Um, sorry, my kids are playing upstairs if you hear them. So she does about six ounces per bottle feeding. That's about every three hours still. Um, we have tried to introduce rice cereal. Um, it hasn't gone well. She hasn't really liked it. And we are very, like, this is going to happen this week. We're going to really start introducing her into food. Um, it's just, yeah, we really have to because... She needs to start eating. She's five months old and six months is when they really start and I think she should start now. And she's a big girl, so I think she's getting hungry. You getting hungry? She is on Infamel and she's doing really, really good with it, huh? You're doing really good with bottles. You love your bottles, huh? Yes, you do. She definitely um, grabbed the bottles a little bit now. Not hold on to it by all means, but she like knows what's going on a little bit. She kind of sees the bottle, knows food's coming. She's definitely aware. Oh. Do you see her hand? She's very aware of her hands recently. It's very cute. All she's like, oh, my pretty hands. Now let's talk about sleep. Now, we have definitely hit a little bump in the road with sleep. Um, I don't know if it's the four month regression or if it's just we've been sick a lot recently. We've had some bad colds and then we've had the stomach bug. We've had the stomach bug. Um, so it's been hard. She wakes up well, at least once a night and sometimes it's really hard for her to go back down. She'll think it's like morning and yeah. So we're struggling a little bit with sleep and like what we're gonna be doing. I know that we have the crib. It is set up upstairs. We are, I'm just a little bit, I don't know what it is. It's because we sleep downstairs, everyone sleeps upstairs. Um, I'm just, I really want her to be a really good roll, like can roll over really well before I put her in her crib by herself. Um, it's just because if we're all going to start sleep training her next month, I just want her to be really secure in that. Just so, you know, she's safe, she can roll over. I mean, I'm going to be watching the monitor entirely when she's when we're sleep training her. I just, I don't not, I'm not ready yet to do that. Maybe because she's my baby, I don't know. <laughs> so naps with her really good they're usually about two to three a day sometimes they'll be like two hour three hour stretches and sometimes it'll be half hour cat naps it's definitely been up to her her days like they'll be grow days and then they'll be um you know not grow days so like today she took two really long naps so i'm, I'm a little nervous about tonight but we'll see huh you gonna sleep tonight for me hmm 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 i was at a party a party at 2 a.m party at 2 a.m <laughs> so yeah that's where we are with sleep i'm hoping the next month or two we'll have this resolved and she'll be on a great schedule again uh i'm not worried about it by all means i know what i know what i'm doing in this situation we've done this many times with sleeping i just yeah i'm just usually i don't i usually wait till six months or older before i sleep train uh just because i want them to be strong and roll over and I'll, i will worry less <laughs> so next we'll talk about her height and weight her height right now is 25 and a half inches long and her weight is 20 pounds. She is a big girl, guys. She's huge. You are so big. Are you big? Yes, um, <laughs> totally. She's huge. Uh, she is in nine months clothing. She wears size four diapers. Uh, we, you know, technically she could still fit in the threes, but she blows out all the time. So we just moved her up to fours. I mean, let me just tell you, my 18 month old twins are in size five diapers. So you can get some kind of like comparison on how big she is. There you go. She's just a big girl. You're perfect. You're just so perfect. Yes. And you can see she likes to stand. <laughs> you like to stand a lot. I think we're bringing the bouncer in. Oh, within the next month or two. Cause I think she just wants to stand and look around. Personality-wise, she is a very happy child. She is can see the joy in everything. She loves people. She loves talking. She loves her siblings. They always come up to her and play with her. Griffin, especially, she'll do the kick mat and win. And Griffin will come play with her and like try to play with her. Uh, they definitely love her. Everybody loves this baby. <laughs> she is definitely. There's been no problems adjusting with this one. Everyone's just so happy. She loves toys now. She loves holding things. She loves um. <laughs> 
doll hair. It's very funny. If I give her like a doll or like a My Little Pony doll, she'll play with the hair. It's very funny. Yes, you will. You just like to jump. You jump, jump, jump. So she's definitely in to doll hair. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it's what her vision, what she likes. Huh, but she likes all sorts of things, all sorts of baby toys, balls, rattles. Um, she just, yeah, you like toys now. Hmm. She loves kick mat. She's really good at tummy time. You are really good at tummy time. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, she can roll over. Pretty good. Not perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend you. Um, she can roll over pretty good. Not consistently, but she can. Uh, it's kind of when she wants to, but it's not like from her tummy to her back all the time but from her back to her tummy we're still working on it oh oh you are so strong she's a very strong baby yes you are yes you are you getting frustrated you want me to put you down i know i know i know but everyone wants to see your cute little face her hair is really starting to grow in look at all that hair you, you know what i'm talking about huh your eyes are definitely still blue like i said before i can't imagine them ever changing they are blue 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 she has cut a tooth, guys, and cutting her second tooth. Unbelievable. The twins took forever to cut teeth, uh, but this is just like how Wynn and Harrison were. They cut their teeth around five months old. So, um, good talk. The amber necklaces have been helping. I really haven't even noticed that she's been teething. I think I had to give her Tylenol like once, but I, didn't, I think it was because of the sickness. I don't even think it was because of teeth. Um, she's drooling and all that stuff, that normal baby stuff, huh? She loves bath time. She lives for it. She loves to kick and splash. She just loves bath time. She's out of the little baby hammock now. She's laying flat. She just, she just loves bath time. Hmm. She's outgrowing her clothes so fast, guys. Like, it's unbelievable. And it's kind of like a bummer because I saved all of Wynn's, like, really cute dresses and, like, rompers and stuff. And Wynn, how she grew was literally to, like, the date. Like, when she was six months old, like, that's how the size she was in. Um, not for this little girl, though. So all of her cute little summer rompers I thought Posey was going to wear all to be donated or kept or whatever we're doing with them um because they don't fit they're gonna they're all six months and they're seriously the cutest little clothes in the whole wide world so a little bummed about it i wish we lived in a warmer climate because she could have been wearing them months ago but we live in frigid temperatures the upstate new york is just awesome for cold weather <laughs> so Gotta buy her some more rompers and cute stuff, uh, but definitely not in any rush, because, uh, you know, fifth baby, they stay in foot of pajamas most of the time. <laughs> it's just too hard. It really is too hard. But she's just an all-around great baby. Loves to be around people. She's just so, she's perfect in every way. <laughs> I, just, I know I'm biased, but I think she's perfect. <laughs> Are you perfect? Are you perfect? To me, huh? You're my baby. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and thumb this video up for us. We would super appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see more cute faces like this, huh? Cute faces like this. Thanks, guys. Bye.